Well, hello. It is August 1st. One Book July 2015 is officially over, and I did it. I stuck in one book with one pen for the entire month. So I'm going to talk in my wrap-up video just about some of the things that I learned and where I'm going to go from here. Now, this doesn't exactly look like the way it did yesterday morning on July 31st because I knew that August 1st was coming I was excited to move on to the next thing. So in a video that's going to be posted tomorrow, I will show you how I am all moved into my lovely Malden Philodori. So that's where a lot of my, all of my wallet stuff went. So I'll go ahead and open this up and show you that it's looking kind of sad inside. All this is empty and uh, those were there, but now I have flags replacing all my driver's license stuff. But it means that I can show you everything because there's nothing confidential in here anymore. So the main challenges for me for One Book July were going to be using the one pen. I had been just, I had been using uh, one book as my everyday carry for a while just because I didn't like to have multiple things in my bags. I don't have huge bags or when I do I have kid stuff filling it up and so I my big challenge was just to be using this one pen. It's just a Target dollar stock pen that I put an ink joy refill into so that it writes more smoothly. Now on my monthlies as I said in previous videos I had already filled this out previously um, before One Book July started, so that's the reason there is color coding in here because I'd use my monthly planning for my forward planning. And so that was kind of cheating, except I didn't know I was going to be doing One Book July until the last minute, so it's not like I was going to take this out and do it all back in in black ink. Um, but that was kind of one of the ways that I was able to definitely ease into not color coding was that I still had my monthlies color coded. So this was July. And uh, I didn't really have to add much, or when I did, I just used this pen. Um, but that is, that's my monthly. And then I filled in because I didn't have the cards anymore. I also wrapped this around this one because I took out the extra elastic I had in here. So on to my weeklies. This is actually a new book because I ran out. <laughs> this last week of July could not fit into this last one. Um, so... This kind of helps me so I can compare and see, see if I can zoom out a little bit. So here is my previous color coding. And here's what it looked like not doing color coding whatsoever. And honestly, because I still have like flags and some stickers and then these gorgeous inserts from Boho Cottage, it didn't, one of the things I was worried about is that my pages would just look too plain. And you know, they really didn't. There still is some sparks of color in there. If I really wanted to do this up, I could, but I just haven't had time to do it. Um, and just the black ink works fine. As far as just my ability to reference things, um, this one didn't have as much kid-specific stuff. But as you saw in weeks previous, I just, when I needed to, like there was a birthday, and that's usually my orange color, so I just used a flag. Um, so like for my oldest son... Again, stuff for my oldest son. Um, this page has something for my younger son. Uh, so that, that still enabled me to do whatever I needed to do and to look at a glance to see for the kids. Is this still going to work for me once school starts is my one concern. Because both of my kids are going to be in school. My oldest will be in kindergarten and my youngest is starting preschool next month. Uh, I guess it's this month now. Wow, scary. Um, but... We'll see. So far for the summer, they don't have enough activities uh, or they're doing activities together, so it hasn't made that big of a difference. I don't feel like I'm just blowing through flags at an alarming rate. Uh, so this, this has been working. I feel comfortable enough with doing the one pen that I think this is going to be my plan from now on. Uh, and I'll show you in my video tomorrow how, what I've got done with the monthlies because that is the one thing that in this notebook for One Book July was still color-coded. So stay tuned for that video tomorrow. So everything else has basically been the same. These are the same inserts I was using, I've been using since, let's see, when did I start this one? Since April 13th, that was when she released uh, this horizontal weekly with the tracker. And so uh, they, that stayed the same for One Book July. I know that I definitely like these and I'm going to continue to use them in my next book. So the other change that happened this month was just I switched out folders. I had... Uh, one folder from Annika Hamby that was part of my Geek Dory that I was using, and I ordered this gorgeous folder. This is still my menu planning, if you didn't watch any of my previous videos. 
um, this gorgeous folder. It's empty. Basically, now I have some paper just stuck in there um, that I got uh, during July to use in here. And it's also not bound in because I had, as I said, taken the extra elastics out to use in my Violadori. So it's just kind of stuck in here for now. But it's a gorgeous, gorgeous folder. I love her work. So pin goes in there and my homemade pin loop. And then my journal's still in the back. And then I was using my back pocket for coupons, which again, have all been pulled out and moved into my notebook for the next time. So what have I learned? Um, and, and am I glad that I did One Book July? I definitely am glad that I did this challenge because it showed me, I at the beginning said, I really don't think I can do it without color, color coding. And again, who knows later this month, once school starts, if I'm gonna be able to keep it up. But for now, I feel pretty good about just using the flags to differentiate when I need to. Uh, I don't feel like I'm losing that much as far as the color and the joy, because that's one of the things paper planning for me has that just using my phone doesn't. It's just that joy and that spark of color that makes me want to reach for it. And I don't feel like I've lost that just going to all black ink. I definitely have gained the convenience that anywhere I am, I don't have to carry a pack of Stedlers and pick out which pen I need to use for which thing, or write it in in friction on the go so that I can then write it in correctly when I get home. I don't have to worry about that. I've got the pen always with me and I can just jot down whatever I need to. Um, and it just it simplified everything a lot, which is really the point of One Book July is to strip everything else away and simplify. Now, one of the other things that I stopped doing this month because I was doing One Book was the um, time tracking. And I had my little, uh, I showed it in one of my One Book July videos, my little beauty o bunker uh, Moleskine Volant Extra Small uh, notebook that I was using for that. I'm not going to start that back up for now. I've enjoyed not having to, as much as I liked being able to reference that and it has helped me to keep track of things like my kids' screen time and things easier, I enjoyed the freedom of not having to worry about every bit. Uh, so for now, I'm not doing that. Again, when school starts, I may feel like I need to keep tabs on things better, especially because it's really gonna affect my youngest nap schedule because my oldest son's gonna have a three o'clock pickup instead of a noon pickup. And so I may want to start tracking some things there. I don't know that I'm gonna do it quite as detailed as I did before. Um, because as much fun as it was and as pretty as it was to have all those colors, it really, I really didn't need to keep track of everything I was keeping track of. So maybe if I go back, it'll be a more basic and slimmed down because I've shown that I really don't need it to function. Um, so that's one, another good takeaway from it. I also, I had, uh, I already had pulled out of here and archived uh, the field notes that I was using for my Lister's Got a List. And uh, that actually worked pretty well, sticking a field note size inside of the uh, regular size uh, traveler's notebook. So if I ever need to, I knew that I could do that. Um, but yeah, I'm also decided to, in the essence of simplifying, I'm not going to do any challenges or journaling prompts or anything for the month of August, just as we prepare for back to school. Um, we'll see if later on I want to pick that up. But yeah, I found that just simplifying everything, keeping my one notebook that I really have my life in, which had always kind of been that way, but I had other things just kind of tacked on unnecessarily, and just using the one pen really seems to be working for me. So that's it. Got through it. I hope that you did too. I hope that you learned things and were proud of yourself and were successful. And now you have a better sense of how slimmed down and simplified your life can be, at least your planning life. So I would love to see in the comments, uh, right down below, what you've learned and what uh, you're taking away. Do you think you're going to do One Book July next year? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. And be sure to stay tuned for tomorrow's video, which is going to be a thorough look inside of my Philodori. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe so you can make sure you stay up on everything I've got going on. And thank you again. Have a wonderful day. Bye.